Brainerd's water tower suffered a long-running leak from Wednesday until this afternoon. Response crews stopped the leak around 3.30 this afternoon. Hannah Tran met with a local resident who reported the leak. Witnesses say water spurted from this hole in Brainerd's water tower for over a day. By the look of the icicles that we saw yesterday morning, it was probably like earlier that morning that it started. So about a day and a half it was leaking. Wednesday morning, Adam Brown was in a nearby tattoo shop when he heard water dropping outside. And we followed the site up to the top of the water tower and uh, saw the giant leak coming out. Brown proceeded to call City Hall, a local crane service, and Brainerd Public Utilities sent crews out this afternoon to cap the spill. We were trying to uh, actually open that hole up a bit, thread it, and try to put in a, a bolt or a plug. Jason Ingholm worked on the leak for hours. After he secured the leak with the rubber plug, he returned back to the ground, droplets of water frozen on his jacket. Ah, oh, just cold. Just cold and just water. This water tower has been around since 1958. Response crews say the old age is one contributor to the leak. Well, with the coating, it's all protected, the metal, and there must be an area that's corroded or, uh, and it just gave way. Cole is also not surprised that this happened during this time of year. And uh, this time of year with the weather and stuff, it just uh, it started leaking. The strength of this spurt remained constant from its beginning up until around 3.30 when Brown returned and when the sounds of dropping water finally ceased. Uh, well, I had to go into town anyway, so I thought I'd stop back by my way home to see, see how it was progressing. This million-gallon elevated tower could have lost more if the leak was at the bottom with more pressure. To these crews, things could have been worse. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. The water tower will have a permanent repair this spring. Crews will inspect the corrosion and repaint the tower. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.